Johnson on the line. The message was for my husband, the elected congressman. Ms. Greenberg. Who's that? Uh, my bride. Well, my goodness. Come over here and let me have a look at you. What's her name? Bird. Bird? Mm -hmm. She's as pretty as a ladybird. Oh, that's precious. A little brown sparrow. This is Miss Kleberg. I'm afraid we're just up from Texas. We drove straight to London's office. In my best car. If you don't mind excusing us, me and this brand new hubby of yours are going to pick a bone. I got the car. I don't give a damn about the car. What I won't tolerate anymore is your turning my husband into a political steer. <laughs> what are you talking about? That's right, play dumb. Ever since Richard took you on here as no more than a common secretary, you have been undercutting him every which way. Taking authority upon yourself, weaseling yourself in between him and his biggest constituents, like I just caught you, playing up to his colleagues, and touching them like you hope their power will rub off on you. Miss Kleberg, I'm just doing my job the best oh, way you I You are a conniving bastard, an egg sucker, an upstart. Oh, please lower your voice. My wife is right outside. Well, let her hear. She'd better know she married a four flusher and a borrowed Cadillac. Ignorant dirt farmer from a family of cheap politicians. Poor white trash, that's what you are. A nobody from the hill country who will have tobacco juice on his shirt until the day he dies. Miss Kleinberg, why are you treating me like this? Because it's my last chance. Now, you better get out there and clean out your desk, because the congressman is going to fire you before this afternoon's over. <laughs> fire me? I just got married. Well, maybe that's your second mistake. Now, get 